find in the last chapter of John. This is after Jesus has died. And this is after Peter had denied Christ three times, three separate times. And essentially, Peter's dreams had failed and, and, and been crashed on the rocks. The safest thing for Peter to do uh, was to, to go back to his old ways and, and to go back and fish. He didn't have enough strength and have enough faith to continue on in what Christ had taught him. He goes back and he's fishing and a, a, another one of those days where you know, he's not catching anything. And I'm sure he's just all kinds of disappointed, all kinds of upset with everything else going on in his life. The fact he's not catching fish probably just didn't help. He's fishing and, and from the shore they hear a faint voice and it says, cast your nets on the other side of the boat. And they pull up so many fish they can't even get them into the boat this time. And they have to tow all the fish to shore. And John was with Peter and said, uh, Peter, that's Jesus, it's gotta be. He didn't even wait. He just took off, jumps in the water, swims 100 yards and just, and just, just to find out if it's really him. Out of his excitement, he jumped into the water and swam the length of a football field and, and he reached the shore and, and found a savior there. Peter is given a new vision, he's given a new light. God says, you're the rock I built my church on. I need you to feed my sheep, I'm going away. What's really cool is no matter how many times through life where we kind of lose focus of what we're doing, Jesus will always come back to us and he'll plant seeds in our lives or he'll, he'll give us memories of what he wants us to do. You know, every now and then we reach a point where because of our own weaknesses and because of our own lack of understanding, uh, we actually do question what's going on. You know, what is God doing? Um, you know, I thought that he would bless me in this way. I thought I was I was in line with what God's dreams were for, for my life and for our life. And and when things didn't happen, yeah, you know, I, I started to question, you know, is this, you know, what is God up to in my life? Is this really um, the God that, that I serve? Would he really allow my dreams um, to fail in the way that they are? You know, God had let our strengths and the things that we had done fail on purpose, because he was ready to come in and show us the plans that he had for our lives. So about that time, we kind of had a, a meeting where we said, guys, what are we gonna do? Are we, are we ending this? Is this worth you know, bailing on? Or are we gonna give this a shot? And the decision was made to quit jobs and take our wives and um, move to Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, Jeremy was like, you know, the guys and I talked and, and uh, we're thinking about moving to Nashville. If we believe that this is God's will, then we have to wholeheartedly do everything towards it. When Jeremy told me they're moving up, I didn't really believe him. I, I was like, oh, well, that's kind of crazy. I can't believe y'all are, are really thinking about this. You know, I think one of the most important lessons we learned as we've been pursuing these dreams that God has given us in our heart is to recognize that to God, the most important part is not the results of you following your dreams, but the process and the journey. Coming to the realization that we are fortunate enough that we serve a God who loves us enough to let the things that we plan and that we dream to ultimately fail in order for us to, to look up out of our, uh, our the, the wreckage of our dreams and look to, to our God, uh, our God who is waiting uh, for us to see what He has for our lives and see what He can do for our dreams. Following His will is a day-by-day -day thing. It's not this plan you set up for the next 30 years. It's waking up every day and saying, God, I need the faith and the strength to go through this day. So when you've come to the end of your rope and your plans have changed, ask Jesus to take over. Stop trying to make things happen your way, but ask Him to have His way in your life. And amazingly, that is when things will finally begin to happen.